We saw a true story. Shalene Woodley stars in the new film, Adrift. We're rolling film right now. Guys, what's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. You guys will get notified anytime I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new. You guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that and stick around to after the video to like and comment. Hey, I'm going to be reviewing Adrift. Adrift is rated PG-13 with a runtime of an hour and 36 minutes. It stars Shalene Woodley, Sam Claflin, Grace Palmer, and Jeffrey Thomas, and is directed by Balthazar Cormacu, who you might recognize from movies such as Everest and Two Guns. Um, this movie is based on a true story, and Shalene Woodley and Sam Claflin's characters are pretty much the main characters in this film. Um, we see that they are uh, they end up sailing uh, off in their own boat and end up getting into the middle of a Category 4 hurricane. Um, flashback, uh, flashback to present time, um, they, are, they, they wash up on shore. Or not on shore, but their their boat takes a lot of damage. Their boat's pretty much incapacitated, um, and they wake up on the ocean, uh, on the boat. And it's Shalane Woodley's character and uh, Sam Claflin, who plays Richard, her love interest in this film. Richard is badly injured. He has uh, br uh, broken ribs, and he's incapacitated. Pretty much can't do anything uh, other than just offer support and advice to uh, Shalane Woodley's character, uh, Tammy, about what, what she should do and how she should do it and stuff like that. Because she's kind of new to the whole sailing um, thing and she doesn't know a whole lot about how to like fish on her own and how to do things on her own and, and what to do with the boat. So she's kind of learning as she goes. Um, the film is actually really good. It does um, flashback uh, present time and then it, it backtracks to when... Um, Tammy and Richard's character first met, how they fell in love and all that fun stuff. And pretty much just shows you that uh, the love that they have for one another. And it, so then it flashes back to the present time. Pretty much Shalane Woodley's character uh, is, you know, just trying to get them to safety as much as they possibly can. They're on the boat. All they have is a little bit of food and rations and stuff like that. So they have to, uh, you know, do the appropriate food and water intake and pretty much hope that uh, somebody can come rescue them because their uh, radio doesn't really work very well because they got uh, obviously got all like waterlogged and stuff like that. Overall, the film I really enjoyed. Um, it actually uh, it, it's a real short movie. It's an hour and a half, but the movie uh, is really good. Shalane Woodley delivers another performance. She is a really solid young actress. Um, she was great in The Descendants, and she's good in anything she really does. I, th I believe she was in The Spectacular Now with Miles Teller. was a really good film, too. She's really a great actress, and she's like a, a really hidden gem that's really, you know, uh, maturing right before our eyes. So I, I keep an eye out on her. She's a really good actress. Um, overall, I gave the film three and a half out of five stars. I enjoyed it. Um, the film did, you know, the, did, does go by pretty quick, um, but you're vested in it. You're really hoping that everything comes about okay. You're hoping that Shalane Woodley's character and Sam Claflin's character come out alive. Everything's okay. You're hoping that it's a happy ever after film. Um, if you're familiar with this story, it's based on a true story. Um, so I'm not going to try to dabble into that because I don't want to ruin anything. But overall, the film was really good, and the um, effects in the movie are very good, too. It's one of those movies where it's on the sea, so you feel captive yourself because it's on the ocean, It's on the ocean, and there's really nowhere to go. And it's a scary feeling to imagine how the characters in the film feel. So overall, the film was good. If you're in the mood for uh, a romantic action-type movie, check this one out. You guys won't be disappointed. More importantly, have you guys seen Adrift? Did you guys enjoy the film or not? Go ahead, sound off there in the comments. Let me know. What is your favorite Shalene Woodley film? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. And more importantly, since we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, accident movies and ocean, you know, washing up on ocean and stuff like that, what is your favorite ocean film? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Well, I mean, next time in House Hollywood Reviews, when I bring you Johnny Knoxville's new film, Action Point. And until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.